Hey, what's happening, you guys? Credit D. Will here from Sweetwater, and today we're going to be talking about choosing the best drum machine for any budget. I got five different drum machines that we're going to take a look at. Just look at some of the different features and what they have to offer, so that could probably help you make a better decision if you're thinking about getting a drum machine. So, you guys already know what's up. Let's dive in and let's get creative. All right, you guys, so first up, we got the Roland TRAS in our lineup. So what's up with this thing and why should you grab this if you're thinking about getting it? First off, it's from Roland. Now, if you know anything about drum machines, Roland has been in the drum machine game for a long time. They have some legendary drum machines like the, the Roland TR-808, the 909, were kind of like the pioneers in hip hop music production. Uh, and they paved the way for a lot of individuals that were creating beats back in the day, about 30 years ago. They would utilize the TR-808 in order to create their drum rhythms and their drum beats. Um, the TR-8S has a lot of those classic sounds built into it, but with its updated model with the, the sampling and analog circuitry. Um, so if you're thinking about getting the Roland TR-8S, that's one of the huge benefits is that Roland has been doing this for so long and they have kind of like mastered uh, the drum machine, the art of the drum machine, if, if you can master it. Um, right off the back, it the TR-8S has a lot of outputs. It allows you to actually multi-track utilizing the USB inside of your DAW. So all of the sounds that you hear on here can be pushed to your DAW utilizing USB and it also has eight outputs. It has two uh, analog inputs. It has MIDI in and out. So you have all the capabilities that you typically would see on a drum machine built in a TR-8S. So like I said, the sounds on the TR-8S are phenomenal. Matter of fact, let's dive in and take a listen to some of them. It comes built with like 300 samples and just a whole bunch of different patterns and kits. So that's what we're going to start at. We're just going to start listening to some of these kits and some of these patterns. So first off, we're going to select the pattern here. And we're just gonna find one that we want. And then once we have a pattern selected, let's go over here and select just any kit. So next up, we got the chord vocal beats here. Uh, you can see right off the bat that this thing has a small form factor. So it's very, very portable. Out of all the drum machines that we're going to review today, this is probably the most compact, the most portable out of all of the drum machines that we're going to review today. It even has... Um, built-in battery so you can actually take some double a batteries throw it in there and take this thing on the go it has a built-in speaker so you don't need to have headphones to actually listen to the beats that you're playing which but i would probably recommend you um plug it into this headphone jack right here but it has midi in and then it got sync in and out so you can sync it up with other core vocal products it has six analog parts as well as four PCM parts. The analog part started on this kick right here, then it crosses over once we get to this percussive section to the PCM parts. You can dial in the different tones of your different instruments right here. So say if I'm on a kick, I can turn that into a traditional kick or 808, which is super cool because unlike the TR, 8s you don't have the ability to load in samples so all that you have on here is the, the analog synthesis that's built in that you can dial in and create your own tones and own um drum drum sounds so you got to keep that in mind if you're getting this you don't have the ability to load samples you this is all that you get built in but needless to say that is not a hindrance why because you can create your own sounds which is the best part of making music so it has a 16 steps right here so you can program drums either by utilizing the step mode or you can come over to the live mode it says live right there hit record and i can actually start to play the drums out and it um it a program so matter of fact let's go ahead and start something here really quickly
Let's change our tempo. Now I'm gonna come out of step mode. Then let's go to the live mode and I'm gonna just play around. I like that. Let's turn the tempo up just a tad bit. And let's go ahead and program that. All right, so the next drum machine that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Drum Brute Impact from Arteria. Man, I really love this drum machine and I found that this workflow works best for me, somebody that's a, a hip hop producer and I utilize the machine, the MPC. I just felt like this was really, really intuitive. And I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why I loved it as well as we start to build a track. But before we get there, let's talk about some of the features. So um, for our ins and outs on the Drum Brute, we have MIDI in and out. We got clock in and out. We got four individual audio outputs. We have a mix out and then we have headphone input. So very simple, very straightforward. Those four audio outputs allows you to connect the drum brute to a mixer or anything in order to push the drums out of this thing into like your DAW or another sequencer. So very simple, very, very easy, straightforward ins and outs. Now let's talk about some of the features why I think that this unit is just amazing and uh, will be a great benefit for anybody that's looking to get it so right out the gate the drum brute impact is a for real 100 analog drum machine meaning that it doesn't have any the ability to load those samples like we saw in previous models or previous unit drum machines so the sounds that you get on here is pretty much all that you get but the sounds sound really really good so like take a listen to this kick drum let me turn it up here a little bit. Let me turn on the pitch down. So right off the gate, you can see that it's easy to dial in your sounds with these uh, level knobs, pitch and decay. These parameters allow you to dial in the sound that you need. So. Even though you don't get the ability to load those samples, you still can dial them in how you want it and just uh, sound design your sounds. All right, so let's go ahead and just program some drums here really quick. I'm gonna turn down the tempo. We're gonna hit record.
right, so you see that it was super easy to start programming drums. Now it gets better. Check this out. So this little random button right here or random section right here allows me to actually create some unique patterns without even having to program them inside the drum brute. So check this out. So I'm gonna hit play really quick. So next up, we got the electron model cycles here. Uh, for our ins and outs, we have two quarter inch outputs. We have a quarter inch for your headphones. We have MIDI in and out, MIDI through. You have a USB hub here, and then we have a, a power jack up here. So that's pretty much it for the ins and outs on this unit. Um, it's a 16 step sequencer down here, and we have six FM instruments that's built in. One thing that I really love about the model cycles is that uh, you have the ability to actually utilize these velocity sensor pads right here to program your drums. Or when you select on the track, so I'm on track one right here, it turns into these 16 steps down here turns into like a chromatic scale. So I think that that is really, really cool. And I like that because all of these instruments over here has the ability to play them up and down um, uh, different octaves. So I really, really like that. Let's come over here. Yo, this thing sounds really good. I love the sounds. So cool. So let's go ahead and try to program some drums here really quick and see what we can come up with on the model cycle. Like that, so we're gonna hit record, boom, play. <laughs> I kind of messed up there, but it went, so we're gonna run with it. Let's go over to our 808 really quick. Uh, uh, uh. I like that, so let's program that in really quick. See what else we got over here. Let's add that really quick.
right, so last but not least on our list, we have the Analog Rhythm MK2 by Electron. This thing has so many features, so it is on a higher end, so you gotta keep that in mind if you're thinking about diving into it, it is an investment, but if you're somebody that really wants to learn drum machines and have one that does everything that you can probably think of, then the analog rhythm is right for you. So let's start with the ins and outs up here. So we have our quarter inch headphone output. We got our main out, we got external in. We have something that's kind of unique to the analog rhythm is these eight output channels right here, which corresponds with our, our um, analog voicings that's built in. So you can actually track out stems with these directly out of the unit into whatever DAW recorder, whatever you're using, you can track them out individually, which is super duper cool. We have our audio in for um, uh, recording samples directly into it. Some of the other models that we talked about didn't have the ability to record samples, but this not only has the ability to load samples, you can actually record samples directly into it and then chop them, which is super cool and super duper versatile. So you got audio in, then you have your MIDI in, you got MIDI out, sync A, then you got MIDI through B, you got your control in, USB, DC in, and power. So the analog rhythm MK3 has that USB function that I mentioned. What's cool about this US, USB function is not only can you utilize these outputs to record stems, but you can actually connect this to a computer and you can record multiple stems out these sounds out into your DAW, whatever you're using. So if you're somebody that's in a studio that likes to record separate stems and have that functionality, then the Analog Rhythm MK3 is definitely right for you. It also comes accompanied with software that allows you to control a lot of the parameters that's on the unit. That's one thing that I love about this unit, and I love the fact that it has the big pads. Like, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I, I really like the, the MPC and the Machine Plus, so these big pads makes it easier for me to drum and gives me that 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 classic um, groove production box feel. And the, the, the pads feel really good on the um, Mark II here, the Analog Rhythm Mark II. And let's just go ahead and program some drums.
Yo, so that was five different drum machines that can work in any budget. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then please hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. Also, if you wanna check out any of these drum machines, check out the links in the descriptions or go over to Sweetwater.com. And don't forget to start at Sweetwater for all your music instruments and pro audio needs. Until next time, stay creative.